What's going on Chosen Ones? This is Chosen Game back again with another video for you guys. I am super excited about this video guys. I've been wanting to bring this video to you guys for quite some time. This is going to be a video purely based on pitching. Not just pitching, but pitching at a very high level. Pitching to very high level batters. So, if you like videos like this and you want to see more videos like this, definitely consider subscribing. And make sure you click that notification bell, leave a thumbs up on this video, and we're going to jump right into it now. Okay guys, let's pause that real quick. I wanted to go over a quick little disclaimer. I'm going to be going over all of the pitches that I pitch, how I set up my pitches for the next batter that comes up to the plate, any batting that I do. I'll be doing that in another video coming up soon. So look out for that, and let's continue. Okay, we're going to jump right into this guys. So the first batter is called the setup batter. Now the reason why I call them the setup batter is because what I'm doing is I'm positioning their mind for them to think a certain way when I'm completely thinking the total opposite way. Now I basically throw them a first fastball because I want to make sure that this person thinks that I'm willing to throw them balls, right? So we throw them two fastballs on the inside plate back to back. This is me testing their patience, me testing their willingness to swing maybe and the person the batter did not swing both times, which is great. Now it shows me that this person is be patient, patient enough to take strikes. I throw them a high two seamer and he swings underneath it for the first strike. So we have two balls, one strike. Now I'm going to throw a two seamer low. The reason why I'm throwing a two seamer low is because I threw three fastballs already. This is going to be the fourth fastball. If he does not swing, I have a pitch, my out pitch to get him. So he does not swing. So now we have four ball we have uh excuse me three balls one strike i'm gonna throw him a slider now i uh, changing the speed i'm not throwing a fastball because that would be the pitch that everybody wants to throw throw a slider now this the reason why i'm throwing the slider is because this pitch i have not thrown yet i've thrown all fastballs and that pitch kind of caught him off guard so now we have a full count i'm gonna throw a two seamer on the inside plate and he swings on top of it now, this is a great example of someone who was thinking that I would I did not want to walk him, but I was okay with walking him. This was all a setup for the next pitch, for the next batter, excuse me. So, now we have Mike Trot up to bat. We're going to throw him a two-seamer on the inside plate, see if he's going to swing at it. He does not. He takes it for a ball. We throw a fastball in the same spot once again to show him that we are willing to throw two pitches in the same location he swings at it that's a very good example of someone that does not know what's going on right now you throw him a third pitch in the same exact spot guys he hits it now this is a guy right now who's thinking why is he throwing the same pitch over and over and over again this doesn't make any sense this is you playing with the batter's mind. You're not cheating. You're not cheesing. You're not doing anything like that. What you're doing is you're actually playing the game of baseball. If they cannot see where you're throwing the ball, then that's on them. I've had this happen to me many times. It's baseball. First pitch I threw now was a two-seamer low. The reason why I'm throwing a two-seamer low is because I want to see exactly if this guy is going to swing on the first pitch. Then I throw a fastball on the inside plate. What is he going to do now? He takes it for a ball too. This is great. What do I do? I said that's fine. I'm going to throw a two seamer high. Another fastball to see what I can get from him. Is he going to swing underneath it? Is he going to swing over it? Is he going to hit it? He swings underneath it. So now we have two balls, one strike guys. And I'm now I'm saying I've been throwing fastballs in, fastballs in. I'm going to throw a two seamer on the inside plate for a strike. And I get a ball call. Great. Yeah, things like that happen. So what you have to do is you have to think outside the box now. I have to throw a two-seamer low to see if he's going to swing at it. I'm willing to walk him. He does swing at it. Fantastic. Okay, so now we have a full count. What do we throw? We throw a slider. This is the only pitch that we have not pitched in the whole se sequence. We have to throw a slider now and see what happens. He swings over it. He swings too fast for that last strike. Yep, so we're on to the next batter now. We throw a two-seamer low to Harper. We get an over pitch. Now, why I hate over pitches is because it shows the location. 
of my pitch, which then gives the batter opportunity to feel a little more relief. Sucks. I, I can't stand it, but it happens sometimes. Do I throw a two, uh, another fastball on the inside plate? Now, remember, I did throw a two-seamer, but it didn't get called for a strike, so the pressure is kind of off him with that two-seamer on the inside plate. I'm throwing a fastball again on the inside. Remember, every single pitch you throw, you're just setting up the next batter. You're setting up the next batter constantly, always. Now, I'm three balls, no strikes, and I'm going to throw a two-seamer low, and I overpitch. So, he gets walked, which is not a problem. I don't mind walking batters. I really don't. I really don't mind walking batters, and I want them to know that. Yeah, so we have another batter up right now. Uh, oh, yeah, so we're going to throw a two-seamer on the inside plate to start him off, and he hits it. Now, we're going to throw to second, get that first one, throw it first, and we get a double play. Guys, this is just an example of being consistent when it comes to your pitching, really and truly. That's all that matters. But Okay, guys, we're going to jump right into the next batter here. We're going to throw a two-seamer low. Now, as you can see, I love that two-seamer. The reason why is a very good setup pitch for um, a lot of other pitches. Um, two seamer low for a ball. You're gonna throw a two seamer up up high for a ball again. So we have two balls, no strikes, two outs in the bottom of the eighth. Throwing a two, se uh, two seamer high up for a strike. And he hits it. Now this guy's a really good hitter. I have to say that he's a really good hitter. He has a really good eye, but we did catch that in the outfield for the last out of the bottom of the eighth. We're going to jump right into the bottom of the ninth now. Yeah, guys. So we start off with the two seamer low. Um, we're trying to get, <clears throat> it looks like we're trying to get a strike on this one. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. So that one's a strike. So we get one strike. On the first call, we're going to throw a slider now. We've been throwing a lot of fastballs, if you, if you remember. We're going to throw a slider now to change the speed to see if he's going to swing through it. He does not. We get a ball call. So we've been throwing sliders for strikes before. Now we throw a slider for a ball. We're going to throw a two-seamer on the inside plate now. See if we could kind of change his speed a little bit. He takes it for a ball. So that's two balls, one strike. We're going to throw a fastball on the inside plate in that same location. Right to the right, the inside plate. He takes it for So that's three balls, one strike, right? We go with the two-seamer up high. That's our out pitch. Pretty much just get us out of a, a tight jam. He knows it. That's why you saw him swing so fast. He knows that that was going to go for that pitch. So we throw a slider low. Catch him. He just didn't, we froze him. He just didn't move. Guys, I'm telling you right now, change your speeds up. Don't overthink this. Just make sure that you stay consistent with the patterns, guys. That's all you have to do. Don't be too much, don't show too much of a pattern, but have a pattern within your own mind of first inning, I'm going to throw these pitches. Second inning, I'm going to use this pitch to set up this pitch for the third inning or, you know, seventh, eighth, and ninth, whatever you want to say. But, what I'm saying is you always are setting yourself up. The first time I started throwing so many balls in the first in the seventh inning, excuse me, was the reason why the reason why I did that was because I wanted to set up myself for the ninth inning. I wanted to basically have him on his heels thinking that at any given time I'm going to be throwing balls. I could walk him or whatever the case may be. So it actually makes it a lot easier for me now to pitch the way I want to pitch. So he shut him off with a, a two seamer low. He takes it for a ball. We do a fastball. Now, guys, have I ever thrown this pitch before? Never. I throw a fastball on the outside plate for a strike. Look, do you see how the way he just swung at that? This guy is a really good hitter. He's a really good hitter. I throw a fastball on the inside plate. He swings at that. Now his mind is boggled because I've never thrown that fastball on the outside plate before. And then I throw him a slider on the inside, guys. I'm setting up my pitches for the ninth inning. He swings straight through that because I've been throwing only fastballs in that location. Only fastballs in that location. There's a method to the madness, guys. I promise you. There's a method to the madness. Seventh, 
eighth and ninth you throwing different sequences of pitches always two seam on the up um on the top part of the plate he crushes it but then we get we get right underneath it because he just missed that you can tell he just missed that you see how big that ball is right there yeah he just missed it he was gonna crush that for a home run but he just got underneath it anyway guys that just shows you exactly how you have to be that's exactly now we're going to, to the bottom of the 10th guys and yeah look at we're actually going for a, a fastball guys a low fastball when was the last time that you saw me throw this pitch never I've literally never thrown that pitch with the whole sequence. Why? Because now he's waiting. He doesn't know what's going on. I've been throwing fastballs on the inside. I've been throwing two seamers on the inside. I've been throwing all these other pitches. But now I'm throwing. A, I'm starting him off with a fastball low for a strike. Guys, another fastball up and in. I've only thrown two seamers up and in. So this looks like a straight fastball to him. Strike. Guys, I'm telling you right now. Seventh, eighth, and nine always throw different sequences of pitches. It could be the same pitches, just different sequences, different locations. So we're now two balls, two strikes. I've thrown all fastballs, all fastballs, guys, all fastballs. You know we have to change it up at the end, right? We don't miss a full count. Oh, he hits it. Why not? That's a plus. That's a good. That's a good thing for us, guys. We don't mind it going to a full count. We set in, we're setting up our full counts. He gave me a thumbs up right there. Okay, guys. So now we're starting off with a two-seamer low. We want to throw a ball. We don't want to throw a strike. We just threw a fastball straight down the pipe, the first the first um, batter. And you see what he does? He swings quickly. Why? Because he probably thought he was going to throw another fastball down right down the pipe. I'm not sure. We throw a two-seamer on the inside plate. He takes it for a ball. So that's one strike, one ball. Then first time we throw a changeup, guys. We're throwing a changeup for the first time. Low and away. He takes it for a ball. Two balls, one strike, one out, and the, the bottom of the 10th. We throw that same fastball, guys, that we only threw once before. Fastball on the outside of the plate. Let's see how he swings at it. Again, swings crazy he doesn't know that pitch is coming we throw because we we always go back into the inside and we throw a fastball we're gonna throw a slider on the inside part of the plate guys he swings through it again guys i'm telling you method to the madness guys i promise you guys seventh eighth and ninth i'm gonna keep on saying that seventh eighth and ninth different sequence of pitches always we're gonna start off with a two seamer high. This is our out pitch. Why would we throw it first? Why would we throw it first? To keep this guy off the track. To keep him off of the trail, excuse me. We're gonna throw a fastball on the inside plate now. Ball. So we have one ball, one strike, two outs, bottom of the 10th. Mind you, I didn't score either. So we, we're not, we didn't do that well this match, but still, show me the pitching. So we throw him another fastball on the inside plate to show him that we are consistently throwing the same pitches. I'm throwing him again another fastball on the inside plate. Guys, the reason why we do this is because look at him. He's going to swing. He's getting, he doesn't know what's going on right now. He's like, why does he keep on throwing the same fastball? We, after that pitch, we're going to throw him a slider on the bottom because he just swung at that pitch. Oh, we got a ball call. I wanted that strike. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I wanted that strike. So we throw a two-seamer on the outside plate. And he fouls that off. And we're going to go straight back to that slider. And I'm making sure that it's a little higher this time so we don't get a ball call. Now he does. He knows that we're, we're willing to walk him. We don't care. There's nobody on base. And he takes it for a strike three, guys. This is a great example, guys, of how you can pitch to a high-level batter. Hopefully, you liked it. Leave a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to this page for more videos like this. And as always...
You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, man? You must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're irresponsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, though. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. No, it's a high, hard one. That's a grand slam.